hello friends so welcome back to my channel today in this video lecture we will learn about the hamilton's principle friends uh, hamilton's principle is uh, very important in classical mechanics and this principle can be used to uh, derive many uh, important equations in classical mechanics and especially hamilton's principle can be used to derive the uh, Lagrange equation of motion that we will study later but uh, in this video lecture we are only going to learn uh, about the Hamilton's principle okay so let's read it so this principle states that for a conservative holonomic system its motion from time t1 2 time t2 is such that the line integral this line integral with l equals to t minus v has stationary value extremum for correct path of the motion okay friends so uh, we are, right now we have just re read the uh, lines but uh, let me explain you okay okay so first thing uh, which i will explain you is that what is l here l is the lagrangian and it is equals to the kinetic energy minus potential energy okay so lagrangian is equals to kinetic energy minus potential energy t stands for the kinetic energy v stands for the potential energy okay the next thing which uh, I have to explain you is that what is this integral. So this whole integral is called the action integral which is denoted by the symbol S. Okay. So now. Now the next thing which I will have which I have to tell you is that what we mean by the stationary value. Stationary value means the constant that means the value which does not change or it it is the value which is the minimum value okay it will not change it is the minimum possible value okay so extremum stands for the minimum okay so extremum stands for the minimum okay so okay now the next thing which uh, is important for you to understand is the holonomic uh, what is what, is, what do we mean by holonomic system so i have already made a separate video on the holonomic system if you are unaware of the holonomic system please watch the video on the holonomic system which was made by me okay then you can come back to this video okay so that will make your understanding better in this video okay friends now we are ready to understand everything okay Okay, so according to the Hamilton's um, uh, principle, uh, this action integral, okay, this action integral for the motion of the system, for the motion of the system has a stationary minimum value for the correct path. Okay, so I will repeat the action integral is constant for the actual path and has the minimum value okay okay so that means if this if that means for the correct path this action integral is constant that means it's stationary okay then that means if we will try to vary this integral then that should give us zero so that is the reason why mathematically the principle is expressed like this okay so mathematically the principle is stated like this that if we try to vary the action then it will not vary in fact it is constant so that will give you the zero okay so this equation is called the hamilton's principle and this equation is very 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 important equation in classical mechanics that is used to derive lots of important formula in classical mechanics okay so here delta means that 
means the variation or it means the variational uh, variational symbol okay so here is a very simple graph okay which uh, will help you to understand okay so here the system was initially here at this point okay and after time t or after some time it uh, goes to another point b now there are lots of uh, paths that are possible in going from point a to point b okay so the straight line which connects a to b is the minimum path okay and it is the constant and it is it and also it, this will be constant because it is the minimum okay so this uh, this straight line is called the extremum path or minimum path or stationary or constant and this path according to the hamilton's principle should be the correct path okay okay and there are of course the other path okay okay possible but this they are not the uh, actual they are not the true path the actual path which the system will follow is the extremum or the minimum path which is a to b which is the straight line okay so this is uh, the very uh, this the hamilton's principle okay for the correct path and for the conservative holonomic system okay okay friends thank you very much uh, if you like this video please share with your friends uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, thanks for your support okay 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 friends bye